another video with your girl Jay. If it's your first time seeing this beautiful face, mm -hmm, yes, welcome and I hope you love it here. So you guys, um, this is actually the part two of how to raise teenage children as a single mother. Yes. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys the tips that are working for me, the stuff that are working for me. You know, it, um, this disclaimer, I'm not a professional or anything when it's come to that. I'm just sharing what works for me. So, yeah, let's just get right into the video. All right. Uh, tip number one is oh, have sex talk with your children. Be an open mom, you know. Be an, a very open mom when it's come to sex talk. <laughs> You know, I cannot tell you exactly on when to start to have sex talk with your children But with my daughters, I started when they have their periods Like with Asanda, you know, obviously they go on their own on, they, they start having periods on different different age levels So, yeah, some they start in 10, year, 10 years You can start maybe, some they even started 14 years You know, with my daughter, she started when she was 13 with my first daughter then that's when you know i start i started to be more open and explain everything to her you know i didn't sugarcoat anything well i'm not good at, at sugarcoating anyways so yeah i just i tell my children exactly what it is you know i think those days are gone whereby our <laughs> our parents were telling us that the baby the baby comes from um the aeroplane, the aeroplane is bringing the baby or your mother ate too much, that's why your stomach is full or you know that thing and then your mother or, or maybe your mother went to the hospital and buy a baby and then he, she came back with the baby. Those days are gone, sweetie. So just make sure that you talk to them nicely, you educate them, you educate them about sex what's good what's not good and stuff about it i know some other people they'll say that you can't have sex talk with the children well with me that's what i did so that they know what's happening anyway now let's go let's go to point number two uh, which is contraceptive talk oh, this is a slightly difficult one um because with other parents you know they will tell you that i can't um i can't have contraceptive talk with my children because that by me doing that i'm actually telling them that you can go out out there and have sex and don't use protection or it's or it's okay for you to go out and have sex because they know that it's protected um, i mean because they know that they prot they are protected from pregnancy which is good, it's fine, but with me, I, 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 I've had the, the, the contraceptive talk with my girls. I, I actually told them uh, and explained to them how they work, you know, different kind of contraceptive, there's pills, there's injection, there's, in this injection, there's the one for two months and the other one for three months, and then I've explained all that, and then there's a patch, and then there's a, plantain and then there's a loop and then explain everything on how it works and all that and <clears throat> it's not like i'm gonna be forcing them to take them but for them to know that as a woman you can protect yourself from having unwanted pregnancy so that's why i explain everything to them while we're on that you need to also explain to them that just because you're on contraceptive doesn't mean that you're not going to be, you're not going to get uh, STIs, you're not going to get HIV if you're not using condoms. So actually condoms are better. Uh, actually, it's advisable to always use a condom because if you don't use condom, you can get STIs and all that, even though you are on contraceptives. So just use condoms, you know. So yeah, that's another tip. Uh, we're gonna move to tip number three, which is have money talk with 
your children yeah i think this one is the most uh important one as well because you know now they're growing you need to be able to give them money and then maybe send them to the shop uh, for them to do maybe a little grocery so that they will see how things goes and they will be able to to calculate you know in store you know that the rice is this amount and that 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 you know all that yes and another thing is you must teach them how to budget <clears throat> you know for instance when you're getting let's say you have a two thousand rand how are you going to use that two thousand and what exactly do you need you know start by what you need go down to what you want get what you need first and then what you want can be on the bottom of your list each and every month also teach them about savings each and every money that they get paid every month or if for instance they have their own businesses um, explain to them how savings and budgeting works so that's very important as well especially on your teenagers yes you can start sooner we can start sooner that's okay but yeah <laughs> alrighty so we're gonna move to another point which is talk to them about friendship teach them about friendship teach teach them about the difference between the bad and the good friend let them know how to spot a good person or a good friend or how to spot a bad uh, friend talk to them about peer pressure as well and all those stuff it's very important okay i'm gonna move to another point which is teach them about the danger of um substance abuse oh my goodness our teenagers oh i yay so teach them about the dangers of alcohol abuse and tobacco and drugs abuse. It's that's very, very, very important. Tell them, teach them what, why is it wrong? Don't just say that it's wrong and leave it to that. If maybe there's a means for you to actually take them to, um, you know, maybe to those um, centers whereby there's people that are been using drugs now they're starting to stop drugs or whatever take, take them there let them have a conversation with maybe the former drug um person that was taking drugs before let them see when you are using the alcohol and the drug where do you end up to like let them see let them know the dangers of uh abusing the substances yes i'm gonna now we are on our last point which is good hygiene habits Whew. as a woman you have to look good you have to smell good you have to take care of your body you have to take care of yourself you have to love yourself so it's very important to teach them especially from the young age yes from a very young age teach them how to be clean to, you know the stuff that you ladies are doing yes i know that you ladies do that so yeah i just wanted to add this that teach them about good hygiene uh where they're staying needs to be clean they need to clean after themselves they need to make sure that their bedding is clean their teeth are washed you, you know those things those basic stuff that we normally teach them from the young age but continue you know Pella, they, they're still children even though they are teenagers but they're still children you know so you have to keep on making sure that you know you tell them especially with uh i'm gonna <clears throat> lead more to girl children because i have girls you know when they have their periods teach them on how to actually dispose the the, the um, uh what you call the pads and and all that that they need to wrap them that are done all that before putting in the bean and all that and also teach them about um about the you know those hygiene wipes when they change for instance when they're in school when they change the pet, teach them about using those hygiene wet wipes to clean it, the area nicely and all that. And yeah, and the importance of bathing twice a day. And especially when you're on your period, teach them about how important it is. And teach them about brushing twice a day. And also, <laughs> teach them about how good it is to take care of your skin it's very important and to make sure that you are clean and all that yes so thank you so much my loves i have to go 
I was actually on lunch, so I was like, let me quickly make this video for my for my lovers. Um, yeah, thank you so much, my beautiful queens, for being here and listening to me. And I really appreciate your support. And to my returning subscribers, you all are loved. And please do not leave. Even if you watch the video, even if you subscribe to me, but please give this video a thumbs up. That helps me. That's gonna help this channel very much. Thank you so much, you guys. Bye.